Let's take a look at how to open the demo uh, and Visual Studio files for Chapter One. So the ones, these are uh, the ones that are included with the uh, all over here with the student uh, source code. So once you've downloaded those, unzipped them, uh, you'll end up with this directory. So I'm switch back to this and put this over here. And here we go. So here I have Chapter One, and in Chapter One you'll notice right away that uh, there's a controls demo, and this is an application. So this is an executable file. We are, I mean, if you well, let's go ahead and click on it, and see what happens. So here we go. Here's our, oops, maybe too small. Uh, this is the control demo. This is what it looks like. And if you run through this little controls demo, you'll see it's just letting you try different things. So here's a combo box that you can change. Uh, that you can select radio buttons. Here we've got some scroll bars, vertical and horizontal. Little checkbox uh, and a list box with some. Just I mean I don't know. Pizza's not in there, but you know I guess there's some other things that are okay. Uh, but anyway, so we have this in here. Man, this is rough. Um, I guess I'm gonna say carrots. But anyway, so we have this. Uh, this little controls demo in here, and this is the executable file that that you know where we're seeing this. But let's say you wanted to see this in Visual Studio and see the setup and the behind the scenes kind of on this for the properties and all that kind of stuff. Well, they included that for you. So in Project Files, when we open this up, you'll see two uh, folders in here. So we have the Wage Calculator that you'll see from the in the chapter, and then we have the Controls Demo. So in the Controls Demo, when you double click that and open up the Project uh, folder, this is where all the files are stored. So we have um, the actual Visual Studio Solution file right here, Controls Demo, and then we have all the other files in here. So we have, uh, if you open that up, you'll see uh, there's additional folders in here uh, with all sorts of things uh, for you to check out. So uh, we'll talk about that more in a little in a little bit. But if I wanted to go ahead and open this up, I'm just going to double click this. Should open uh, by default. If not, you may have to tell it to uh, open in Visual Studio. And I'm going to click OK. And it's going to load it all up. And you notice it looks... Uh, super boring like there's nothing in here right i mean it seems like there's nothing well uh you have to tell it what you want to see so uh you've by now uh customized your uh visual studio so oops, it's a little bit short there we go uh and so we have our properties and our solutions explorer we have the you know toolbox we have all sorts of different things in here well you notice over here under the controls demo uh in the solutions explorer you'll see there are a few things listed so what you want to do in order to see the designer view which we we'll talk more about this in chapter two uh but i wanted you to be able to play with it this week so when we click on form one uh we want to see the designer view and you can either Hold down shift and hit F7. I just know it from habit. Or if you uh, right click on this, you can go ahead and say view designer. And it'll take it a second. And there we go. So here we go. Controls demo. Here's the layout. Here's the project that we're working on. Um, it popped up with the toolbox right here. Uh, if we go over to properties, now whenever we click on something, it will be listed over here so we can make changes to it so you'll see different things listed uh, in here as we go through like for example if i click on the close button you notice over here oh here we go btn for button and then close so there's uh you know all this kind of stuff if you wanted to play with it you can see you can make changes uh and do all those kind of fun things all right so that's how you get to that one now let's say you wanted to go to the other one which you'll want to uh, when you're uh, walking through the chapter so i'm going to go ahead and go back over here uh, to controls demo and I'm going to go to the wage calculator. Now, for this one, they didn't give you a working application, but I'll show you how to do that in a second. Uh, so, in fact, let me show you this really quickly. When we go to controls demo and I go into the folder and into the bin folder right here, you'll see under debug. And again, we get to these in later chapters. I just want to show you so you can play with it. You'll notice this first one that's listed uh, here, controls demo. And this is, uh, when it's under type, it says application. This is the same file, this is an executable file that you can use to open up and you'll go back and get uh, this working again uh, so you can play with it, all right? Now, you'll notice, just very quickly, let me go back here real quick. And if you wanted to open a working copy of that under a wage calculator, under the bin folder and debug, there is not one that says application. Well, it has a VS host, but you don't want that. Uh, you want the one that just says application. It'll execute. You'll be good to go. Uh, so I'll show you how to get that so that you can actually play with the wage calculator and get it working. Okay, so let me go back. And we're going to go ahead and open this one. So I'm going to double click that. It's going to open in Visual Studio. 
Come on, little baby. You can do it. Okay, here we go. All right, so our wage calculator is here. Let's say, oh, man, it doesn't have the forms thing. Oh, look, it's just it's blown up. Well, that's okay. Not a big deal. You'll close stuff. You'll do that a lot every once in a while. So there's lots of ways to put things back. But let's just, we'll go back to the same way we did before. So Solution Explorer. I'm going to go to Form. Right-click. View Designer. Boom, pops in there. Okay, so I'm going to go back to Properties over here. So that if I click on something, like this Close button or this button for count gross pay uh so you notice the naming conventions and how they're doing things uh and you can make all these any changes you want over here all right so here's this piece in here if you want an executable so that you can actually go up and you know click in and type and 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 uh, try a you know a solution and see what this looks like for gross pay you can go ahead and go up to build and just for now we're not going to talk about everything but just for now just go to build and then this little option here that says build wage calculator so i'm going to go ahead and click that and build started and build succeeded. This is really short. So if we had the output, uh, you know, uh, window open here, we'd see more information. But for now, it's fine. We build succeeded, so we're good. So now if I go back in here uh, to this particular uh, folder, we're in the wage calculator. Here's our project folder. I'm going to open this up. I'm going to go into bin, into debug. And look at that. Nice little program here for us to check out. So I'm going to open that up. And again, we'll do lots more of this kind of stuff uh, in future chapters. I just wanted to be able to uh, have you play with things if you'd like. So we can check this and we can say, you know, whatever this might be and, uh, and go ahead and calculate it here. Uh, you know, make some changes in here, whatever it might be. Calculate again and then close to get out of it. All right. So that's how you're going to walk through and see uh, these two different programs that they have for you for chapter one. And uh, you'll see some notes about it about both of these in the uh, in the chapters uh, starting uh, looks looks like about uh, page well, I think it's on page eight when it starts with GUIs so uh, anyway so you'll you'll check that out